like with Cinderella, invited to the ball. And that story, Cinderella got Prince Charming, so we're hoping for a happy ending, too. We are moments away from starting an event of a lifetime. The first day of practice, this is what we've been working for. We finally achieved it. It feels really good. Co-head coaches for the Raging Cajuns. There's Stephanie Lotif. She is co-head coach with her husband, Michael Lotif. We'll see Michael Lotif. He is the third base coach for the Raging Cajuns. They have been on the job for the last six seasons combined as co-head coaches in Lafayette, Louisiana. All right, let's let introduce you to the Louisiana Lafayette starting lineup. Louisiana, and I didn't start playing softball until I was in ninth grade. My name is Vanessa Soto. I'm from San Diego, California, and my Raging Cajuns hat is my lucky charm. Holly Tangersley from Kirbyville, Texas. I'm a fifth-year senior, and I play just about everywhere on the field. Hi, I'm Melissa Verde. I'm from Beaumont, Texas, and I wear number 16 because my dad wore it when he played college baseball. I'm Lana Bowers from Huffman, Texas, and I'm studying Spanish to be a missionary. My name is Gabrielle Bridges. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I was a homecoming queen my senior year in high school. Hi, my name is Brooke Broadhead. I'm from Lafayette, Louisiana. I've been playing softball with my teammate Carly Hubbard for 14 years. Hi, I'm Carly Hubbard from Lafayette, Louisiana, and I've lived in both South America and Africa. My name is Katie Smith. I'm from Reston, Louisiana. My teammates call me Junior because I'm the youngest member on the team. Seeing Nelson work down her screwball and then down her drop ball hard, but I think if she threw another changeup, I think that she'd probably get Soto looking. And Soto pops this one deep to center field, off the base of the wall. One run will score. Two runs will score, and we're tied. An inning ago, Michael Lotif, the co-head coach for the Raging Cajun, said, don't worry, we're good, and he knew something. And so the number three hitter, Holly Tankersley, will bat. Still in search of her first base hit. The Sun Belt Player of the Year. The first team All-American drives it deep to right center, and it's gone. And Eric, that is just the second home run of the year that Stacy Nelson has given up. That is a huge hit for Holly Tankersley. Tankersley was due. And she cashes in in the top of the eighth inning. You gotta respect Tankersley. I'm sure Stacy Nelson does, but that ball, it was right to be hit. A lot of times when you see a ball go out of the park, it's because the pitch is a little sweet. You can see Nelson throws a screw ball, and it's actually not that high. But you can see the power of Tankersley. What does she do? She gets her hands extended. She gets those hands to the ball and drives it. That ball just jumps off of her bat. 